hello there so today we're going to be trying out some more aliexpress makeup i'm just thinking about like one day will you get bored hello. of this oh hello buddy how are you doing i got you a work present a work present Okay, let's open this. Good wrapping, Dre. Wow. This is for today to work. Oh, Dre, this is great. I can use this to graffiti on all of the walls. Thank you so much. I love you. I shall write, Mommy loves Andreas. <laughs> Dre, I love you, gorgeous. Do you like my cream tear? Is that looking cool, do you think? I'm going to do that to my... Oh, I don't know if yours is long enough. That's the only problem, Jay. Believe me, if it was long enough, I'd be all for it. Don't touch it, though. It's very hot, buddy, so be careful. <laughs> right, okie dokies, Jay. Well, I, I love you. She. I said you. I am a she, Jay. Don't, don't misgender me, Jay. <laughs> no, okay. no, I'm a she, Jay. That, I'm okay. That's the wrong pro pronoun. You're mispronouncing me. You're okay. No, it's J. I'm a she. J, you can't be no, gender. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, you're she. Okay, Dre, I love you. So, yes. So, today we're going to be trying out some AliExpress makeup. I have the Miss Rose Founded Liation. I also have what looks to be a beautiful dark purple uh, liquid lipstick uh, by the Dragon brand, but looking suspiciously like Kat Von D. I also thought it might be fun to dip back in to the... Um, what's the name i forgot the name the casualing palette because a lot of people were saying that they would have loved to have seen the blue shimmer so i thought that we could try that out today and the final thing we're going to be testing are the false lashes that i recently showed in a haul i was kind of almost brave enough to test out the lula um eyeshadow but honestly like since i've had it there just seems to be like more and more oil coming out of this and i am a little bit terrified so i've decided to give this one a wide berth if you don't mind i've already got a sore eye and i i don't want to put my eye through any more uh, potential soreness. So today we're going to begin with the Founded Liation. This is by Miss Rose. It costs £2.09. I didn't actually get this from the Miss Rose official store for once. Uh, for some strange reason it wasn't on there so like I'm not sure why. I got this from another store but I will confirm all of the info downstairs. They did have four shades and do you know what like I'm a little bit confused about this it definitely says purely natural foundation right on it when i was looking into it earlier i noticed that you know the four shades that they've got one is very pink one is kind of pearly white one looks to be like a peach and the other one which oh no i've got number one ah do you know what maybe my eyes are worse than i thought look at the swatches can you see they look like liquid highlight swatches to me so it's saying that this one it looks like it's like a, a kind of highlighter pink shade is this foundation or is it liquid highlight it calls itself purely natural foundation but then the swatches all look like liquid highlights so like i have no idea um about that there's also a complete lack of information about what we can expect from this foundation on aliexpress and upon the foundation's person so i think all that we can do is pop it on my face and see it comes in this uh, glass bottle oh, we've got a gold pump which is a very swanky indeed not really swanky but like kind of tacky but i appreciate the effort so let's just pump this out this is the moment of truth guys what will we see oh just before we see i actually did buy um i think it was like a bb cream by miss rose it was in like a plastic tube i tried looking for it early but i couldn't find it anywhere like i don't know where she's gone i've definitely not got rid of her because she's brilliant but um i'll include a picture so that you can see the one i mean that is one of the best kind of base products that i've ever got from aliexpress and because of that i'm feeling particularly optimistic about this today so anyway please oh oh here she is do you know what i think those swatches were a bit bullshitty because like although this does look kind of pink and it definitely looks like it may be more of a radiant finish it doesn't look like 
how it looks in the swatch. So that's a little bit of like a mystery. But my microfiber sponge to apply. I have also applied my Makeup Revolution Hydrate Primer. Let's begin. I'm just going to go in with, um, with my sponge. Plop, plop, plop. Okay, so the shade looks really good. Because this foundation is called the Purely Natural Foundation, I'm not expecting there to be a great deal of coverage just because, like, the name says so. I'm some kind of makeup detective, just t picking up clues everywhere I go. I mean, it went on beautifully. Um, I'm having a real issues with pores at the moment. I mean, there's no foundation in the world that could cover those bad boys up i mean really guys by the way as i mentioned earlier still having issues with my eye i won't bore you with the whole story going in with like another layer here i didn't really plan it i just absent-mindedly just started to do it you know that could explain most things that i do in my life okay so i think the finish is looking actually really really nice it's definitely got you know a lot of kind of glow to it which i am definitely approving of it's looking very flattering on my skin so far the shade is spot on perfect i don't think i've ever experienced a shade match as marvelous as this i feel like you know if you were to look at my face like face on you can kind of see maybe this side it just looks a little bit smoother like it the tone looks more even and it does look a little bit more glowy but other than that like i don't think you can really see that i've got a lot of coverage going on and um, because you can still definitely kind of see it, like everything through it so i'm going to go ahead and do the other side i do actually believe that this is oxidizing actually a little bit and it's actually looking more pink so i may look like mr blobby by the end of this if you don't know what mr blobby is please don't google him <laughs> He's the, the thing of nightmares. So, okay, let's just do this and diggy on down. Diggy on down? What? <laughs> oh, I felt like I was like a dad, you know, a 38-year-old dad trying to be cool. Let's diggy down, kids. I mean, really. Do you know what? I'm really liking this so far. It's feeling super comfortable. It's going on beautifully. It's not giving me a lot of coverage, but, like, for me being um, 21... <laughs> I wish like Andres actually thinks that I'm 22 uh, he thinks I'm 22 now because I always said 21 and then I had my birthday so now like I'm 22 apparently so I mean I'm loving it I'm not knocking it he's probably telling his teachers oh yes my mummy's 22 and they're probably like bullshit for me being a bit older like I would much rather just have a smoother kind of toned look to my skin than I have like tons of coverage I mean I am kind of beyond the point of caring you know if I have a spot it's like okay let the world see it I do not care you know I'm kind of past that point of like really being bothered by spots I just I just want my skin like overall to look kind of healthy and um and young, like I want it to look fecking young. I want it to look like 22 year old skin, okay? This is really, really beautiful. I'm really liking this. I'm gonna go over my eyelids as well because I don't want to leave them out. Okay, so I actually think my skin looks really, really good. It's super dewy. It's got a healthy kind of glow to it. The shade is a perfect match for me. I just hope it doesn't like oxidize too much. But I just think like this is kind of like my perfect kind of uh, look. You know, I love the dewy, glowy, um, lighter kind of coverage. I just think, look at this guys, it's absolutely gorgeous. And the shade, the shade is immaculately great so i mean so far this is just absolutely wonderful i'm going to kind of set my face a bit i don't want to take away a lot of the beautiful kind of glow so i'm just going to like set my t-zone with this foundation i'm going to be keeping it on for the rest of the day and then i will come back and give you a little update later to let you know kind of how it lasted over time um but so far like i'm so excited i tried out the you can be uh, foundation yesterday that video will have gone up by now and i really like that one and i can't believe that like i don't want to speak too soon but it seems amazing you know to have two aliexpress foundations in a row be spectacular but i just feel in my vagina right now that 
that could be the case. Let me just wave to the boys. They're on their way off. Let me give them a little wave. Oh, honey, I want to give you a wave. Come on, hurry the feck up. He's just stopped in the road. Like, what, what the feck are you doing, honey? In your own time, honey. Like, we're not waiting. It's fine. Don't worry. No one's got anything else to do with their life today. I don't know what you're doing. Anyway, guys, right, so, okay, I just thought I'd come back um, before I applied my blush because I'm going to be using the Naked Hairs to, I say Hairs to Beauty, but it's Hair Beat, the number two UT, I have no idea, but this is their Mineralized Blush in the shade Angelica. It's a beautiful, kind of glowy coral, kind of warm blush so i'm gonna apply this today and i just wanted to show you because i thought well like why not so here we go guys this is gorgeous i keep meaning to buy luminoso by milani because i am pretty certain that this would be like a really really good dupe for it because it just looks very very kind of similar i just think if you want like a beautiful kind of it's not really sheeny it's more like a slightly glowy um kind of formula but i just think oh my gosh it looks so good like oh my gosh she's my favorite coral kind of sheeny kind of glowy blush i just i i would die for her i wouldn't but she's fabulous okay so i've done my eyebrows my blush highlight bronze just a million and one things i have done so next we're going to try out the uh, drag on liquid lipstick uh, this is a beautiful kind of vampy purple shade i love the packaging it is identical to kat von d's everlasting um liquid lipsticks so like they've definitely kind of ripped it off but at least they have had the respect to put their own name on it so it's not like um it's a fake yes it's a copy but they're not pretending to be a Kat Von D. Oh, I just felt like I heard something. I thought, oh, is that Kat Von D under my bed? Screaming in in anger. Like, oh, what the feck? Go get your kids vaccinated, Kat Von D. I know it's... <laughs> the shade is an old joke, I know. I sure shouldn't really be joking anymore. She put that video out the other day and spent all of, what, three minutes talking about the, the anti-vax thing. I mean, what? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I, I just think every parent do what you feel is right for your child but you've got to pay attention to facts and scientific facts. I don't know how I got onto this. So anyway, let's get back to the lipstick. Uh, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna do like the, an awful job applying this guys, I just know it. Okay, so guys, here she is. I do apologise for the shitty application, and I know it is. This is why I don't wear darker kind of uh, lip products, because I'm not the best at applying them. You know, unlike Instagram, everyone just applies them beautifully. That's not me. That's definitely not me. Um, but I absolutely love the shade. It does appear to be drying down. It... Um, it looks a tad bit patchy now that it's drying um, just at the bottom. I feel like it's kind of nice, like for the price. I am really liking it. I just, oh, the application is a fail. It's a complete fail. But it's not my fault because I just was not blessed with the skills. You know, just the skills. So, next we're going to move straight up onto the Cageling palette. I did do a full review of this a few, couple of weeks ago. Like, I have no sense of time anymore. Just time seems to be going by so quickly. This is absolutely gorgina. I mean, it's gorgina. You've just got very vibrant, I mean, business kind of shades. So today, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful blue. It's absolutely stunning. Stunning. It's so stunning. And a lot of people, when I did my first impression, were, I think, a bit disappointed that I didn't go in with the blue um, because I kind of teased that I was going to go in with it. And then, you know, at the last minute, like panicked and backed out. But today I'm going to try it. I also love this khaki shade, but I feel it could be potentially a bit muddy with the blue. So I'm going to use this beautiful, vibrant orange shade as well. So I'm probably just going to put you in fast forward because I've done a full review on this palette already. I've done the swatches. So I'm just going to get to creating an orange and blue 
kind of eye look, something that I never really do, but I think it'd be fun to like experiment. It's also as well, just an update on the lips. Oh, they're feeling so dry, so dry. And you know like when you put a face mask on, like a clay one and it starts to dry and then your skin feels painfully tight. That's how my lips are feeling, like painfully tight. I'm not enjoying it like at all right now. Don't worry about me guys, like, I'll be fine. I'll just like, I'll, I'll woman up over here and I'll be okay. Okay, so just to say, I like, I'm absolutely loving this. These are, once again, blending out beautifully. But this orange shade here, and I'm not sure if it's just because I put it on top of the mauve shade, it's definitely looking a lot less orange than I was expecting. If you look, like at my eyes, now it looks quite coral. Again, that could literally be because I just put the mauve underneath. I don't know, but I just wanted to let you know. So next we're going to go in with the beautiful blue. Ah, uh, and I'm so excited. I don't actually know now if it's going <laughs> to work, but I mean, when do I ever? And uh, all the more reason to try it. Okay, so I have finished the look and I absolutely love it. I think the blue is sensational. I did spray a little bit of my Morphe setting mist just on my table so I would like dip, dip in there and it definitely did like intensify the shimmer. So I would recommend that if you want the ultimate, ultimate in blue goodness then definitely use like a wet brush or just like you know wet your finger but I really like the look also just wanted to say that you know the um orange shade that I said looked really coral on my crease and um, I definitely think that that was hugely because I put the dusky pink on underneath and um, because when I applied the orange under my eyes just by itself it definitely looks a bit more vibrant but it does still have that like rather corally look to it so uh, this is the look I don't don't think that the lips are doing anything any justice right now they're not feeling particularly comfortable and um, so I may or may not change those in a minute but I'm gonna go ahead and oh nothing I like I've done everything apart from we're gonna do the lashes we're gonna do the fecking lashes I'm gonna take this lip off I hope you don't mind it's just pissing me off and I just can't okay so I've applied some celebrity skin oh that sounds strange doesn't it like oh yeah I've just put Johnny Depp all over me um I would much prefer if it was the Johnny Depp you know when he was in Nightmare on Elm Street or um I was gonna say it was his hands but Mm, not really because yikes you know what I mean I put some of that on and I'm liking it so much more and my lips are not feeling uncomfortable so next we're going to move on to the false eyelashes so these are called the mink eyelash but I can tell you that they're not real mink because they cost £2.91 real mink is exceedingly expensive it's considered a kind of a luxury kind of um, material in the same way that you know you get like um, handbags made from crocodile skin which is disgusting because I just I just think it's awful or you get ivory from elephants tusks or um, you know leather from cows I think do you get leather from cows I don't know but all of those materials are very expensive because they're regarded as being like luxury even though it's fucking bullshit I just think anyone wandering about with a £5,000 crocodile handbag needs to be skinned themselves like I don't that's a bit extreme just think it's idiocy at its best you know what I mean anyway guys this is what the eyelashes look like they have done a really good job of making them look, look like mink <coughs> oh shit what was that feck it sounded like I had a demon inside of me just coming out they look um very wispy very flirty what's what I can't believe I've just described these as looking flirty they're fecking eyelashes but they look very um just like mm, 
just um, like I don't know I'm at a loss for adjectives here guys somebody help me out anybody like anybody like tell me in the comments like what would you describe this lash as being i'd say wispy and flirty apparently i'm gonna really really try and make this like the best application of false lashes i've ever done i never get it right and i feel like my big problem is at this trimming stage because i never know how much to trim and i always trim the wrong end and then like the lashes look like they're not the same lash because I've I trimmed the wrong end. So what I'm going to do is, in a genius move, <laughs> yes, I'm going to like put the lashes like this, like you know, let them let them kind of spoon each other, and I'm simply going to like trim them both together. Like I feel like that's going to be a sure way of making sure that they match. Okay, so there we go. Like I've I've tried, I've tried, guys. I feel like like nothing can go wrong now. Oh shit. Okay, so they're a bit stuck. Let me just check they're the right size. Like I don't care. Let's just do it. I've got my duo lash glue, and I'm now now I'm gonna try and be a minimalist and not apply too much because again I always overdo it. I am the captain of Team Too Much. I heard that on um the drag drag race and i thought oh holy shit i need that on a t-shirt i try not to put too much on oh shit oh there she goes completely overboard again as usual you just can't control how much comes out and then too much comes out and it goes everywhere that's what she said i mean really guys so i'm just gonna flap this around for an indetermined amount of time because i have no idea how long i should be flapping them around like this for like let me know in the comments again guys how long should you actually flap your falsy around before you know that it's at the perfect time to put it on is that enough i don't know anyway let's just pop this bad boy on ready to mess up the whole look yes i am Oh, I feel like do I need two hands to do this? Oh shit, now the other how do you do this guy? I've got one side down, but the other fecking side is coming up. Like what what? So what oh now it's stuck to my fecking finger! <gasps> ah! Oh guys, this is so frustrating. Why can I not do this? I feel like it's too long. I'm just gonna chop a bit off. Feck it. I don't really care. Feck you lash. Right, it felt like it was too long, so like, I was trying to stick it on, and then, you know, I'd stick one side down, and then the other side would come up like a fecking crap seesaw that nobody wants to go on. Look, see, how do you do this, guys? I'm just going to go in with two hands like this. Fecking stick down right now. I am your leader. Stick the feck down. Has it done it? Oh, gosh, guys. Oh, not really, but oh, I'm just going to say that's okay, like... It's a bit much, isn't it? Like that's a bit much. Look at that. Right, I'm just I'm just leaving that one to its own devices because I can't be fecked with it anymore. So where's the other one? Okay, so I'm now gonna have to like trim a bit off this because you know we had that whole issue of me just getting really pissed off. Um right, so how will this go on? Right, so if I cut a bit of the end off, there, just feck it. Oh, Shania, it's way too fecking much. I feel like there should be like university degrees, you know, for false lashes, like how to apply them. Also include winged eyeliner, a lip liner and contouring in that as well. It should be a degree course, like really. My eyes won't stop blinking. Like why won't my eyes stop blinking for one second? The band is not flexible enough to allow me to stick. I don't like both sides on because whichever side I'm, I'm trying to stick on, the other fecking side is, is coming up. Stick me right off and then it sticks on your finger and then you're fucked, basically. Ah! Shit, shit, shit. Okay, fine, fuck it. I'm leaving it. She is accepting that this is as good as it gets here we go they're very wispy again i just feel like they don't necessarily look like they're the same lash like i feel like they look like they could be cousins 
like college roommates, but they don't really look like they're the same. Like this one looks a lot fuller than this one. And that was maybe to do with like my trimming, but actually like maybe not. And, and they are very extra like they're a lot <laughs> they're a lot i am i'm loving them and i know there's a lot of issues with them the application the fact that they don't really match but i, I, can't, I can't knock them like i'm liking this okay guys so i'm liking it and um, what i would definitely say like i'm by the way no expert on false lashes but i would definitely say that this brand aren't as good as the viso free ones that i really like because the actual band just it seems to be completely inflexible. So it's like really tough to manipulate it. You know, it's like curve, it's like stick on the curve of your eyelid. It just does this like really annoying seesaw thing where you stick down one side, the other side pops up. So you go stick that side down and then the other pecking side pops up. It's a game that nobody wants to play. But anyway, Honey's is back. Here, here he is okay so that brings us to the end of the video i really hope that you've enjoyed it i have really enjoyed filming it as always i feel like i can't really see anything right now with these eyelashes but oh and i've not done my bottom lashes with mascara who is she who is she right now uh, let me just quickly do that and i'll tell you about everything like everything so i absolutely loved dipping back into the cajoling palette I would definitely recommend you get it if you're a fan of the shades in there or if you think that you know you could you could have a good play around with it. It is brilliant. The formula is exceptional. So yeah, that's a really good palette. I also so far I'm really 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 liking the foundation. Yeah, I just think it looks beautiful. It's one of the dewiest foundations I think I've ever tried. Um although it's not giving me much coverage, I think like that's fine because it's kind of like the Camuse foundation that I tried whereby there was kind of zero coverage but it just made your skin look so much better it's kind of like you know the perfect situation for me uh, so I am loving it um, but I will come back sorry I put this nose stud in yesterday and it's one of these you know corkscrew ones so like every so often I keep seeing like the bit of the corkscrew end inside my nose and it just it, it's not it's not making me happy right now also honey's has just got back with his uh, 17 year old daughter jade and she is amazing at applying false lashes so there's no way that i can go downstairs like this looking like a shit show do you know what i mean i just can't so i'm just gonna hide up here and hope nobody comes up you know at this point i'll say bye bye mm -hmm. and i'll see you soon mm -hmm.